All right. Uh, Jason hasn't played this, right? Um, uh, no, it's just you and me. Yeah, okay. Shane hasn't even played it. Hasn't he? I was explaining it to him yesterday in very short form, but... Yeah, so you roll two dice, and then you activate one or two ships, either the, the each die individually or the sum of both dice, and the ship that you activate gives you a thing that lets you... gives you points or allows you to buy better ships. But ships you buy can only go in the slot that they have the number on. So like you can only put a, a nine in the nine slot, for example. Um, the the number the, the slot number is the the number in the square thing. Yeah, top right. Um, also, when you buy a thing, your money, all your money is consumed. You don't get to save anything. So if you. you can... If you, you can buy more than one thing, right? No, you can buy one thing per turn, and if you, say, you have ten bucks and you spend three of them, you spend all ten. That's because there's things that give you the buy extra buyability. I think this one does it. Hmm. So what's the objective of this game? How do we win? The planet symbol... Fill it all the way to the right. The planet symbol is points. I don't think it's... I don't think the, that's the, how it works. Either the planet or the rocket ship. We fill up something. Hang on. I'm sure I have the rules right here. Actually, the rules aren't in here somewhere, right? No. I'm sure I downloaded the rules at some point. Uh, game rules... I've got 153 items in my game rules folder. Huh. Really? No space space. 153 games, no space space. That's madness. I have three things about space cadets. That's not useful. Okay. The goal is 40 victory points. Equal turns. Uh, what was that one? Oh, yeah. The times two before you gain the rewards for your roll, when you activate this ability and resolve its effect, gain whatever blue rewards get you this turn. Blue rewards you get this turn twice. Because it's a uh, a cube to activate it. So you spend the cube right. and then you activate whatever you would normally get, but twice. Right. I don't believe there's anything else you, once you buy twice. Could be a, gr a green ability, maybe. Uh, so, victory points is the rocket, money is the credits, the planet is income. So, at the start of your or end of your right. turn, you gain money equal to your income. So, if you spend all your money, you might still get some back if you actually have you actually generate income. Right, because it would refill at the start of your turn. You add new income for your next turn. Right, it doesn't. You don't get it on that turn, is it? Um, let's see. Also, we start with different resources based on player order. Mm -hmm. uh, rewards, dice, buy a card. Income is at the very end of your turn. If your if your money is less than your income, your income moves up, or your money moves out to be equal to your income. Right. So it's not that you gain three, but you will always you can't have less than three at the end of your turn. For yeah, because it'll go down. It'll go down to zero when you spend whatever amount, and then it'll bump back up. Up right until the next person takes over. Yeah, right. okay. That's right. Uh, starting resources. Who's first player? Um, yep. Let's roll a die and see who gets the highest. Yeah, let's push this button and see what happens. I got... Uh, thank you. Oh, it tells me in the bottom left. I got four. 
Someone else tap the button. Oh, it beats my four. Jason? Oh, you're first, my dude. Okay, so starting player gets no extra resources. Second player gets one credit. Third player gets two credits. That's money. Like actual money or income? Money, money. Coins. So, Jason, you're going to bump your gold block up by one space. What? Did I do who's, wrong? Who's red? Who's the red? I am. One? He's red. This, this is your board over here, man. Oh, on the this one? Yeah, yeah you're this board here. The one, oh. if, if you swing the camera around the 180 degrees, you'll see that your picture's sitting here. Yeah, this table doesn't show your name on it, which is stupid. Yes, it's quite stupid. Um, there's actually an extra starting step that I don't know that we ever did. We actually all start with five credits. We each draw one random level one card, pay for it, add to our board, and then we gain any extra money or whatever based on player yeah, order. I don't think we did that the first time we played, and it still was fine. Yeah, I think it's fine, too. I still think we should do it. Buy, which would let us get just about any of these cards, eh? Well, you have to draw one randomly, so I'll, I'm putting back in the deck. In theory. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Okay. Oops. So, we all have five money. So who draws first? You, I guess, right? Me, I guess, because I'm first player. Uh, okay, so that's an 11, so I... What's well, it? Eight income, though. God damn. Well, I mean, I got to roll an 11. Okay, yeah. so so the way that you, this would work, Jason, is that I drew uh, an 11 ship, so on my 11 ship that I have, I hit the deploy button, so it tucks it underneath, and I put this in the 11 spot. You, you can always, you can stack an unlimited number of cards underneath one of the dice too i think yes but you so, only have one so when i up. roll when i roll an 11 i'm gonna make eight bucks but because i have a card tucked in there if one of you activates an 11 i get four bucks okay yeah so now you draw one of the one cards how do i review r f f uh, i got a one it's the victory point oh that's Sorry. actually not the best so over on your board, click the deploy button up here at the top. All right, and now you can move your card and slot it in there. It should stick. Perfect. Also, uh, if you haven't changed your rotation degrees to 90, you probably should, because uh, the two of us that. have to rotate cards constantly. Top right side of the screen next to the guy lifting weight. Okay, I see it. Uh, 12. That's and then Q and E card. rotate. Oh, Mr. Four Victory Points. I'd rather income early on than... I mean, you're going to roll 12 that often anyway. That's true. These are not great starting cards. Okay, so... So we should quickly go over what some oh, of the icons mean. make sure you pay for your... your well, we'd, we'd be back to zero, and then we'd get our starting... No, you only, you only pay the amount this time. Oh. So I have three, and then I get my bonus two on top of that? Yes. Okay, so I'm and at then, five again. And then Jason spent two, so he's down to three, and he gains one, so he starts at four. I'm also four because I don't know how to count. Five, five minus three is not three. It's very true. So we should go over some of the symbols here so Jason's got an idea of what they mean, so he knows what he's buying. Sorry, what? We should go over the symbols for Jason so he's got an idea of what they mean oh, yeah, before enough. he starts having to buy things. So yeah, so make sure you spin your camera around so you can look at things face up because it'll be easier. I can it's see that your hand is upside down. Just, just point out and hold alt. Yeah, so... Uh, It'd be right click, but you're on a laptop, so I don't know. Obviously the okay. coin means money, so you increase your money track so you have actual money to spend. The planet easier, symbol Jason, means... Sorry, it would just be hover over a card and hold the alt key. That'll bring it up and put it right in your face. Yeah. Okay, so which card are you pointing at? Okay. First one. Okay, so the, the six means you get six money. So when you get, whenever you roll a 12, so the 12 on top top right corner there, whenever you roll a 12, you'll get six money, which is money you can spend. 
And this will also give you one income, so at the end of your turn, uh, you would have uh, constant money generated. So this would say this is the first thing you rolled, you'd bump your income from zero to one, so at the end of your turn, you'd always have a minimum of one uh, money to go into your next turn. And if you rolled a 12 next turn, it'd bump up to two. Now you can have a minimum of two money. And then when you have seven money instead of six. Well, yeah, if you don't spend any, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, so, it, okay, if you have an income of one on your turn, you'll get your one income. But if you rolled 12 again because it has a six money icon, you'd get six money plus the one you already had. So you'd have seven money. That's why income is kind of important. It's just like it's, it's right. how you if, get to if, the higher numbers. Yeah. Yeah. If you had no money and you had the income and you rolled that one, then yeah, you'd have seven money. Also, I fucking forgot how much I love the look of these ships. Uh, and then if you flip that one upside, when you flip that one upside down, you, you get you still get four money and one income. The next ship is just money either way. The uh, the rocket ship on the the last two cards is just victory points. The one with the arrow, the third one here. When you when if you roll if you activate this card, it actually activates the card on either side of it. Your choice. Okay. So. It, it doesn't do anything on its own, but it gives you a, an extra chance to activate an 8 or a 10. And that can chain with the card like this. Yeah, I I think when me and Brandon played this for reals, I think my 10 and 11 were both arrows pointing to the right, and my 12 was something really good, so I had a, a like a 1 in 4 chance of rolling a 12 if I rolled a 10, 11, or 12. Yeah. Uh, the next one over there has this, this uh, box on it, so... If you roll this one, which is a two, you would put a cube on that box, and then uh, in the future you can remove that cube to take the green action, which in this Whether case. Whether or not you roll the the card again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to roll it again. Okay. So in that case, what does the two dice and the arrow mean? That means. I think you roll and activate that card. Uh, it I'm means. Right Uh, so you can only activate it if you use the sum of both dice. So it's a it's a two, which means oh no, sorry, that it's irrelevant. So if you rolled an eleven, you roll five and a six. You instead of using a five and a six, if you chose an eleven, you spend a cube from this card and activate the ship one to the right of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, the upside down part of that, is that two uses or do you have to use charge both? Hmm. Must be must be both because it's got a link on it. So once this one's flipped upside down, you have to charge it twice by someone else rolling a two, twice, and then you could spend it on your turn, take the cubes off, and then use one card to the right of the one you're activating when it's your turn. It'll make sense once you actually do it, but if you never buy it, then it's irrelevant. Um. So I'm just taking my turn so we just get going. So I'm going to roll a dice. Yeah. So I rolled a 3 and a 5, which means I can activate a 3, 5, or 8. Which is either a money and a money or 3 money. So I'll choose 8, obviously. Three. Neither of you have an 8, so it doesn't get you anything. Well, we shouldn't. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Because you, you have the you could have You could have bought an 8. You could have rolled a 12 you could have drawn and you an eight. 5 money, you fuck. Uh, so yeah, so I get three bucks. So I have six. And... Just make sure I'm not skipping anything, because it's been a while. Okay, roll dice, yes. Take a thing, get rewards, buy a card, or choose not to. If you buy a card, reset your money to your income. And your turn. Okay. So I have six bucks. 
Uh, all the twos are too expensive. What do I want? Hmm. I should have turned my 11 from a income into a money, but it's a good money, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to buy the 12 because I retain my income, but I also get money. And I reset my money to my income, which is zero. And then we refill. We don't three. refill it till the end of all three turns, right? Um, I thought there's something that we were doing wrong. No, it says refill shipyard, get income, end of turn, next player goes. I do think you are right that we're, there was something we were doing wrong, but I don't know what we'll it was. We'll do it wrong again before we realize we're doing it wrong again. Yeah, probably. Oh, and also, Jason, the uh, the ships on the the side with the yellow backs, all those do is generate points. They're very expensive. Uh, they don't do anything if you... Oh, sorry, once you put them in, you can't tuck them under, so they'll live there forever, and they'll just generate you points anytime okay. you roll them. So they're more of an end game thing. If you're getting close to 40 points, you might want to put one of those in to, if you don't care about income anymore and your your engine works pretty well, you might want to buy a ship that uh, just makes points. And there's one for each number. So only one of us can have any one of those. Okay. Okay, so now, oh. So in theory, this redeploy button will draw one card. See what happens. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Scripts are cool. <laughs> okay, Jason, it is your turn. So I roll. Yep. Nothing happened. Do it again? Yeah. Three, five, or eight. So same as Jay. Yep. And since you didn't buy a three, five, or eight, you have the same options as me. It's which is slightly more money. How much? You gained uh, three, so you should have uh, seven money total, right? Because you're at four. Okay. So now you I... have the option of buying a card. You don't have to, but you can if you want to save up for something better. But seven... I thought your money goes back down to zero at the end of your turn. Once no, you no. spend it. If you if you buy it, it resets to whatever your income is. But you can save it up to buy more expensive things. So right now you could afford two of the level two ships. Um I'll go with the, the, the 10 card on level 2, the one that costs 7. Mm -hmm. So I go to 10, and what button do I press again to? The, like the, the, where it says redeploy on the card. Oh, okay. You didn't get a move here? Okay, that carries my money back down to 0. And... Is that about it? All I can do? Uh, yes. Okay, I guess my turn's over. And do I hit anything to end my turn? Nope. Okay. We'll just hit the button down here to resupply that deck. Okay. C'est moi. We. Watch me roll like a one, five, or four, and one. Well, I get to do one money or two money. Oh. Mm. Does five or one help either of you? It helps Jason. It gets some money, which is of little concern to me at this point in the game. So, Jason, you get yourself a money because of this card here. That's the L cube? Uh, yep. I'm sorry? Yep. Is yep. that the yeah. L cube? Yep. And I get two money, which gives me cease. 
Can I buy any level twos with six? No. I'm gonna buy that one. Okay. Diego, shut up. <laughs> okay. Oh, you took the uh the two dice to activate a thing. Gotcha. Yeah. I have got one, two, or three. Nice. Well, going with the Man, if I take the one, then Jace gets the money again. Is that really such a bad thing? Yes. It's too early in the game for me to take a three to to prevent that from happening, so I'm taking yeah, the one in the three. absolutely. So have your money, Jason. Just one? Okay. I have two bucks. I can afford... Oh, no. What? So somebody posted a thing. It says Puma's latest trainers go viral as they look a little bit like, like Adolf Hitler. And a comment on it is, these are for when you really want to finish a race. Oh, no. That's bad. Right? I don't want to buy the 12 because I already have a 12, although it would still get me money and income if I tucked it. Just not as much. I can only buy that or the 3. Neither of you have 3s to activate, so you're not likely to choose to roll one of those. I don't understand the point of buying like this card because it's no better than the three you've currently got. Well, it gives you the whatever you've gotten the three tucked, so it gives you a, a yeah, three on someone else's turn. It, it's a relatively small gain, I, I mean, suppose. It, it costs you two bucks to give you something on someone else's turn. Yeah, I guess. I it has buy, some small value then. I tended to buy a twelve just so I can stack up on things for when you eventually activate your 12, Brandon? How, how bad I mean, you want those four yeah. points? Potentially. Um, but I, I do like the chance of rolling income for the time being, so I'll buy the three. Oh, sweet. It auto-rotates it. Oh, some, okay. some low number uh, victory points. Alright, my turn. Yes. One, six, or seven. Um... One and six or seven. Oh, so I count either the two numbers separately or the, the, total, num the total number? Yes. Correct. That's why I was saying when I rolled a one, two, one and two, I could take the three so you didn't get anything, or I could take the one and the two so you would get something. So if I were to take the... I don't let the dice disappear. If I were to take the one, that would increase my rocket by one, one victory point. Yep. And I get two money because of it. Uh, I'll take the one in a six. You get one money. Oh. Uh, actually, I'll take the seven. It's three. It's three. It gives me three money. So you don't want the victory point? Okay, I'll take the one in the six. <laughs> It'll give me a victory point. Hey, do what you want. Mm-hmm. 
and it just gives me like one one money. That's it. The so the the six gives you a money. Yeah. Because it's in the blue. the The red card on top of your one gives you a money when we roll a one. Oh, when you guys roll one. Okay. So you get one money and one victory point. Yeah, I just moved at one. Were you on two? Three. Yeah, he he was he uh, got one money from me. Oh yeah. Oh, he might have he might have put it on one instead of zero by accident. Uh, initially, because he. No, he would have had zero, and then I gave him one. You gave him one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize you did give him one, but. Yeah, I did. I decided not to be spiteful on my second turn. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you were very spiteful to me for through pandemics. So I appreciate it. Uh, Which pandemic game are you playing? Because I can't find the one. Play game. Thank you. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I thought it was pandemic because he kept saying pandemic. So. Might as well take the. Might as well take the twelve. Why not? It could happen. Mm -hmm. So. Gives you five bucks if Brandon activates his twelve. That goes all my money back to zero. And yeah, that's I'm done. Okay. I'll definitely take five and a one. Boop. So that gives me one money. Oops. Yep. It does. It gives Jason shit. And the turn's done. Hmm. I thought there was... A shortcut for different camera right -click. views. Camera mode. Yeah, that's what I want. I just wanted a shortcut to uh, like see your eyes boards without. Oh, no, I did activate it. Okay, it's green. How do we... What did you do? Oh, okay. There we go. If I look at... Uh, if, I, if I zoom into a certain point uh, and hit control and a number and then shift and that number, it'll snap back to that view the next time I do it. You can also just do picture in picture. Oh, mine didn't work. Why didn't mine work? What's picture in picture? Exactly what it says on the box. Okay, there we go. Oh, I accidentally deployed my six. How do I not deploy that? Uh, we have to time travel. What'd you do? Hmm. Didn't go back far enough to undeploy my six. Oh, you can unlock it. Oh, was it and just flip it around? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I tested that out right at the start just to make sure. Okay, perfect. Okay, rolling dice. Five, six, and eleven. Well, I mean, eleven gets me eight bucks versus two bucks. And neither of you have an eleven, so guess what? Eight bucks for Jason. Yay. This Jason. Oh. Eight dollars. What can I buy with that? Many things. I can buy any of the twos.
I'm going to buy the 10. For all my money. Done. Oh. Resupply. Done. Four, four five, or nine. nine. Well. You need to take a victory point or two money. That's not a victory point, that's income. Oh. So if, okay. if you activate your nine, your minimum money is now one, not zero. Okay. Which is helpful. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, that's all we can do because I don't have money. Yep. It's your turn, Brandon. We this game's got a bit of a slow burn at the start, but it really fucking picks up as we get more stuff. Four and two or six. Six is less than a four and a two, so So wait, how does this one work again? So on your turn, you can yeah. uh, regardless of what you roll, you can remove this cube and activate the one to the right of the sum of your dice. So you can spend that cube to turn your six, activate your six, but get the seven. What do you mean I get the seven? Oh, because that's the, the sum of the dice. The, right, yeah, the right, six right, is right. your sum, and you get the one to the right of it. I mean, yeah, that is three money instead of two money. Mm -hmm. Is there anything worth buying at a four? Nope, nope, nope. And there's one of those at my two. Oh, it's not bad. Yep, doing it. Oops, it's not the right one. Um, All right. Because they're out here, I want to point out that. Uh, Jason, in the second row, mm -hmm. there's the one with the three boxes on it. So that can, it. that can store up to three charges, so you can spend up to three cubes. You don't have to fill all three before you use them. You can just you get, uh, charge them and use them as, as you feel like to get the effect whenever you want. But the one in the third row with the four boxes... Uh, those have the, a little like link on the uh, the boxes, mm -hmm. so those ones have to be fully filled before we can use them. And in a two-player game, you have to fill. Uh, oh wait, never in mind. Two-player game, you have to fill three. On a two or three-player game, you have to fill all four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And then you would activate that one time. Take all the cubes off, and in this case, get twenty dollars. But they need to charge it up again. One of the cards in here is like spend charge up like four times. Take them off, you win. Oh, it's me, isn't it? Sorry. Five, one, six. One, five, six. All bad options. Well, guess what, Jason? You're getting a buck. You taking the five and the one? Yeah. Nice. You... I also get a buck. Well, good for you. Yeah, motherfucker. One money. Hmm. Time to start being spiteful about taking ones. <laughs> <laughs> now it benefits two people. <laughs> uh, I have two dollars, and I probably don't need to spend two dollars on any of this garbage because I only buy the 10 which I already have and a 4 if you have a 4 to activate you know what I'm going to spend my 2 and buy the 4 
Look at him buying that garbage. Yeah, I don't want to change my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it my turn? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Nine. I don't have a nine. Four. We can do three and six, or you can do nine. Which is basically the same as last time. We got four, five, and nine. More income or two dollars? I do have a four. You would activate that in the spirit of fairness. I think I'm just going to increase my income by one. Okay. It's like upping your income early on. It's not the strongest of plays. Usually getting money is pretty good, but long term having having debt income is nice. I mean, it yeah, yeah, but the service between getting two bucks or one income, I'd take one income. Yeah. Well, last time we played, I think I went, like, fucking monster on into income. And it made it really easy to just take whatever I wanted whenever I wanted it. Because you can eventually start swapping out some of those income cards for other things late game, so. Uh -huh. Plus, there's not really much, at least on my current board, there's not really much options to increase my income. There's only two yeah. numbers. And, so. like, you don't, like, lose your income. It stays for the rest of the game. So. Anyway, I'm good with that. Stack that income early. <laughs> Um, which number did you take? You took the nine, right? Yeah. Fuck off. That's the exact numbers I rolled last round. Anything worthwhile at a two? Brandon activated as one. You get a dollar. You gotta say that, Brandon. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I might buy that. Well, why are you chugging a bit there, Steam? Two and four. Uh, that's a victory point and a money or one money. I believe I'll take the money and the victory point. I will take oh, two just, money then. Thank I you. I activated two and four. Thank you for giving me two money, Jason. How dare you? <laughs> oh, you have two and a four. Mm, I see. Yeah. Well, I'll be thinking about that in the future. I know you will. Uh, My turn? I have one dollar, so yeah, it's Jason's turn. No Emmys, no Emmys, no Emmys. Two and three. Two. I'm going to do two and three. Sweet. I will take a money. Let's see, what do I want to spend with five? You can't get anything in the second row for a five. I think they start a minimum of like seven. Uh huh. Six is rolled a lot. I'll go with a six. I'll buy the six. Are you wondering if the game was smart enough to know that numbers can't go on the wrong numbers? Alright, I'm done. 
It's not. It's stupid. It'd be cool though. It would be cool. Two six. Six two or eight. A nine? Yeah, I'll do a nine. Neither of you have nines? Good. It's an eight. You only get the nine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, neither of you have but an eight. But neither of us eights, so it's fine. No. Anything worthwhile at five money? Definitely that. One, three. I'm taking one and three. That's one money. Thank you. Damn it, that's nothing. You son of a bitch. And I'm going to spend that for my third 12. <laughs> oh, that's garbagey. Is that just backing them all together? Yeah. Try to rectify that. Maybe you can only do one of the th one of them. I'm pretty sure you could do more than one, right? Yeah, you definitely can. Well, that was not the answer. Well. Out of here. I'm just gonna put them here and then <laughs> worry about that in the future. Uh, I'm done. Oh, we supply. One, two, or three. Uh, I'll do one and two. So one money and one victory point. Take my one money. I have a four if I want to. Uh, I won't buy anything. I'm going to save up. Your turn, Brandon. Oh, can I get something higher than like fucking five? Take two money, I guess. A four and a one. Sweet. And I'm going to save my money. Two, 
two and five. Uh, the seven is better. Seven. My turn? Yeah, I'm going to save my money. Okay. Two, two, four. So I either get one gold or one gold. Well, no, I believe you can activate your two twice, right? Yeah, you can activate, you have your, your your two twice. You have two twos. One or two, two gold, your choice, bud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play two gold. I was just looking at your cards, seeing what it did. You're taking two twos? Yeah. All right, I'll take two gold then. Thank you. And I have seven now. Oh, I have seven. What does the um, two times mystery card do? Two times mystery card? Yeah. The one I'm hovering over. Oh, that means if you had a cube on there on your turn when you take the cube off, you would get double whatever you would normally get from your your roll. If you're if you're activating one ship with the sum of your dice, you take the cube off there, you get double the rewards. Like if you rolled I don't know what's your best card. Uh, if you rolled like your ten, and you activated that, you'd get oh shit, 18 Brandon. gold. Hmm? The passive player gets to choose what dice they they activate. Not it's not automatically what the active player chooses. Oh really? So we get to use whatever the dice they used is? Are they rolled? Yeah. So if like Jason rolled like a five and a six, even if he chooses eleven. I could choose the 5 and the 6. You could choose the 11. That's mm. that's powerful. That completely changes things. If you if you rolled two sixes, you could take two sixes to prevent me from at 12, but you can't because I'll just take the 12. That changes everything. <sighs> so you think I should take it? What? Oh, we're not talking about your card anymore. <laughs> Oh. Sorry. I mean, which one are you thinking about the, the double one here? This one? Yeah. It's not a bad card. Um, you don't really have anything worth doubling right now, other than your yeah. 12 and your 10. I, I mean, here's the thing. It's it's an 8, right? What does your 8 currently do for you? It's 3 money. At this stage of the game, a 3 money is probably still more valuable. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is... Like a 3 money is something I would better. want to be able to double. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to save my money, try to buy something from the third rack, maybe. Yeah, you can go, Bren. One and a four again. Oh, nine. All right. Hmm. Nine gives me his income. Four gives me one. Five gives me that again, right? Eh? Yeah, in this in this case, Jay, being able to use whichever numbers you want, let's say it's a little bit more like Valyria, but less magic coral, which is always a good thing because fuck magic coral. Um, I'm gonna land super high for a while, so let's do that. I took the nine. Oh, I guess it's nine. Or do you guys? You can use four or six or nine, whatever you want. Four or five or nine. Four, Math. five, or nine. Is yeah. it, do you only get to pick one of them, though, or do you get to pick either the two no, or get, the sum? No, get to assign the dice the same as if we were the active player. So I took the four or five mm. to get one buck for my four. Yeah, why not? Jason gets nothing. Jason gets shit on. Uh, I'm used to it. 
Seven money. <laughs> yeah. You work with me. We're used to it. Definitely buy a map. What'd you buy? Oh, the three? Yeah. <clears throat> Two and three. Yep. Two and three. Two money. Also too many. I'm gonna spend all my money on the eight. Oh, the first 12. Sweet. Definitely take my five money. Oh, oh, I, I didn't say I was taking tall. I just I was doesn't, making a comment. It doesn't matter. We get to assign the dice however we want. Yeah, that's what we just discovered. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, which changes everything. Yep. Took a 12. Um, but... You don't have anything under 12, Jay. It's over here. Oh, okay. Two yeah, cards they... don't stack properly for some reason. Yeah. So what the fuck did you get? Nine, Nine money and an income? Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Your first point of income. Uh -huh. Welcome to the income game, man. Thanks. Happy to be here. It was, it was better without you. Are you spending your 16 money? Yeah, I'm going to spend it. I'm just... Mm. That's a gross amount of money. I'm going to buy the... the outpost, actually. You're going to lock up your three forever? Yeah. Deployed underneath. What's that? Jason. What? Hmm? You, you have a card here already that was deployed before this one. No. no. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. The outposts are limited. There. There's no refilling them. Uh huh. It's no replacing right. them. Okay. And so I can choose between the one, eight, one and six and seven for me? Yep. So you can take one and six, or you can take seven. Oh. Okay. So you score five points immediately for that. You don't get anything for rolling a three anymore. Oh, I thought every time I rolled a three, I get five points. No. Yeah, rolling... I think that's what we fucked up last time. That could be. Rolling rewards are blue. Opponent rolling rewards are red. The yellow ones are immediate. And that's what you get. Money. I was actually looking to see if there was anything like like not being allowed to have cards tucked under an outpost, but or they're called colony cards actually. Colony, okay. Deployment problem. It, Cool. It says, as a tip, put your colony card face down so that you can remember that they don't do anything else for the rest of the game. So I can put them face down? Let's like looking at it. 
Oh, I just pressed F. Okay. Yeah, there's a. This is the problem with the deploy not working. What are you trying to do? Oh, you got two fours now? Yeah. I don't know why it's like that. We'll look at the workshop page and see if there's anything about that. Not feels like that for now. Jay, it's your turn when you're done there. J Mac. What's going on? Okay, second, something with the mod to so figure out why the cards don't stack when oh, you use okay. the deploy button. Because I've got that fucking mess going on down on my four, and he's got that mess going on over with his 12. So. Ooh, use me. The workshop page says that the deploy uh, works temporarily and then just like stops working for some reason. But like it didn't work at all for us and there's no fix for it. That sucks. Unless it's a. Well, I mean, you just did it and it f fucked up, right? Yeah. Hmm. But I don't know. Uh, one person said they just stack their cards. I uh, got two and a four. They stack the cards and then just like search the deck to see like what they get for it. But that's tedious. Did you roll again? Two and four. I guess I would like three money.
I'm gonna buy this too. Okay, your turn, Brandon. Or five or nine. <clears throat> I think it's gonna take the nine because can't use my can't put another one on my five yet. So, oop. All right. Okay. Your turn. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. I think I'll take the two so I can get a money. I'll take one twice. Jason also gets one twice. Seven. I'm gonna save up for him. Three, five, or eight. The fact that the chat's blocking my board. You can turn the chat off in the options. It's in. Oh, yeah, if you go to the menu, go to configuration interface, you can uncheck chat. Okay, I'll do that after I'm done. What does this card do? Uh, exchange this card with any other card on your board? I think if you use the, like, the power, you can, so if you, your sum was a nine, I think you can remove that token to activate any card on your board. Will be my guess. All right, I'm going to buy the 11 instead to spend my money. All 
Great, your turn, Brandon. What did Jason actually roll there on his turn? I was talking to Tash. You can look at the chat and tell you. Uh, I have three, chat. five, eight. I have chat hidden. You can click the button in the bottom left to reshow it temporarily. No, I have chat hidden. That's what I'm telling you. Oh. Yeah, yeah so he rolled three. three, five, and eight. Okay, so it's two bucks no matter what. Sorry, struck by baby. Is it, is this my turn yet? It's still you. Yep. You have to vote what numbers Jason had, and I assume you took money, and then you didn't finish your turn? Oh, the last, last I was listening, you rolled two numbers, then I asked what Jason's numbers were. Oh, I, no, I know you're, if you finished your we're turn. on you. Okay. We're on you, bud. Sorry. I have a baby now. 5, 6, 11. I'm going to go with, no, I got, I got to buy something expensive. I got 19 bucks. I don't want to waste it. Uh, I have a four. I do have a four. I'm going to buy the colony ship for four. It cost me all but one of my money. It gives me six points. Oh, my call my four deployed properly. Okay, it's my turn. Fran, try, try redeploying your cards, your fours. Mine are fixed. One, six, or seven. Yeah, 
It's weird that it's taken so I, far out. That it seems I, I think it's enough. because you hit the deploy button before, like mine did it too. I think it, it tracks how many times it's, you've hit deploy, so it puts it in the right spot. Mm. Uh, one, six, or seven. I don't have any of those. Yeah. Brandon, it's your turn. Uh, you rolled a one, six, and a seven. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my one money for that. Okay, we... Six, four, six times. Four... Absolutely going to use that and take five money and income. Okay, 19 money. It's almost a burden to have that much money. Like, you're going to waste some of it no matter what. Oh, I know. Again. Do you want to play a board game too? You're not old enough yet. All right, Jason, you're up. Three and four. Threes and fours are automatically a seven for me now because fours are useless. My turn? Uh, hang on. Okay. I might buy a card. I'll buy a card. Some guy in Spain parked his car in a bus lane, and then a bus pulled up, and supposedly the guy in Spanish was like, what are you going to do, hit it? And the bus driver hit it, pushed his fucking car out of the way, <laughs> just fucking slammed it. It was like fucking Mercedes Benz a couple times. Oh. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Okay, now you can go. Sorry, what did you roll, Jay, for numbers? Oh, I can Three and four. It. Three and four. I did not take my money. And I fall to with another three, four, and seven. Six money in your guys' turns. Thank you. Uh, what I want to buy... Thirteen money. What did you roll? Uh, three, six, and nine. 
uh, Jason, the green ones with the arrow, we can only apply that as if we were using the sum, right? We can't use that as well as take the, the two individual numbers? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you're trying to say. You can move that cube to your deployed one. You don't lose it. Nice. But you need two cubes to use it now. Oh, that's fine. One and four. Can I forward that one? Yeah, I can. I have ten right here. Okay. Taking a six. Done. Five, five, and ten. Is that in there, Jason? Yeah, I'm still deciding. Okay. What do I? Sorry, everybody just went really quiet, and I was like, is it, is it my turn? Did I miss something here? I was petting the dog, so I was distracted.
What does the one on the top right do? I know it needs four cubes, but what does it do? It has four. Which one? Oh, top right for you. Oh. Get uh, you need So every Charge time you roll times, a get two, bucks. you add a cube to it. Once you've added all four cubes, you can remove all of them for 20 bucks. So you basically have to roll two four times to get $20. Well, that's worth it to you or not? I don't know. Sorry, it's just I don't want to just touch to the side with the body. Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy the top right. It's actually the bottom left, sir. You know what? Why don't you rotate the board and get on my level? The wrong level? Nah. Yeah, it's your turn anyway. We six four ten. One and three, how very exciting. about the one colony ship. Fair enough. Is it my turn? Yep. Okay, four, five, or nine.
Let's find out to buy this one. Oh, my card will disappear. Oh, did you try and uh, deploy Beautiful. a second one? Yeah. I'm still missing another card. Like there was one. There's two yeah. ones here before I bought there. It dropped to the table. It might have ended up in one of the. I right, here it is. Oh, was it just inside the table? Okay. Yeah. So if we deploy that one, we just bought that one. So we, this one, deploy that one. There we go. It seems like the first time you hit the deploy button to put more than one card, it fucks up unless you yank them out and redo it, and then it seems to work. Your turn, Brandon. Yeet. Oh, this thing is really bad at rolling 11, 12, or, like, low numbers. 4, 2, or 6. Well, 2 nets me jack shit. Eleven money. One can use for eleven money. What should I roll my twelve? Sorry. So I wish I could roll my twelve. Yeah, I've, my twelve has been there since literally the start of the fucking game. So remind me, explain to me if I'm wrong, Jay. But this one here uh, it says exchange for any card in your board means if you roll a nine and pull that cube off you can use that in lieu of you can use any other card on your board like as if you activated it normally or rolled it so once you roll a nine and charge it then any later time on a future turn you can take that cube off and swap your nine card with any other card yeah i don't know oh and put it actually on that bot okay green abilities can be used during any turn whether you're the active player or a passive player so at any time, you would be able to take that cube off, swap that card with any other number. Well, I mean, there's how you activate your 12. Just swap it to a fucking 9 Pretty slot. 9, yeah. Yeah. Um, I already have a 9 that I kind of want. So... I'll take that one. There you go. It's a slightly better version of the one that I had in there. Huh. Three, six. It is a nine for three victory points. And save my money, I only have six bucks. Four, six, or ten. Three money for me, no matter which way I do it.
times eight. Okay, your turn, Brandon. Two and three. Ten fucking test. So green can be used on other people's turns, eh? Hmm. Yep. Good to know. Uh, I've got ten money. Anything worth buying? Nope. All right, Jay, your turn. One three. Well, that sucks. My one is a colony. My four is a colony. So I got one dollar for a roll and a three. I got two bucks for your four. Or excuse me. So is that my turn? No? Are you still saying, Jay? What? Brandon was doing his turn. It's my turn now? Oh, it was Brandon's turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Sorry. Wait, no. You did take your that turn. That was yeah, my turn. Sorry. I rolled a one and a three. Ignore sorry. that. Brandon was working out what to do with my one and his my one and three. Yeah, sorry. I was talking to myself there. Confused the poor man. Four, six, or ten. Brandon, your turn. Oh, fucking 12. Sweet. Holy mother of God. My second income. I will definitely take four victory points. buy another two just i can't right because the colony's there right i'm gonna have to buy this one 
to go deploy and flex up. Oh, that was about that. Pop that in there. E all the way back down to four. Pop a new card in that bad boy. And Monsieur, it is your turn. One five. Six is two victory points. I'm I have two money more than the number five colony and one less than the number six colony. And I'd rather not waste two to get one less point. By the time it gets back to my turn, I'll probably have more than that anyway. I'm going to wait for now. Save up. Jason, hold me some money. That's been the same roll the past three turns. Four, six, and ten. Your roll before that was a four and a five. No. The, our three, the fourth one ago was four and a five. Well, I said the past three, not the fourth one. Yeah, I'm just saying, you, you have four, five, four, six, four, six, four, six. Mm. Stop being so predictable, motherfucker. Just gained five motherfucking money there. One, two, three, four, five. Come on if I do. How do you get points and money? Four and six. Oh, I, I got you. When I looked over at you, your mouse is hovering over like the, the north end of your board, and I'm like, no, no, there he gives points. What the? F How's he doing this? It's called cheating. Mm. No. Yeah, look it up sometime, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I never cheat. I feel that Shirley's not snoring loud enough for it to for Discord to hear. She's a very loud snore. I may hear the odd sound, but it's not noticeable. Not your turn, Jay. Or Brandon, sorry. You finish it for today, apparently. One and three. Two bucks for me. I'm going to use this reroll one or both my dice thing. Just give yourself a victory point, Jason. Oh, did I? Wait. There's one in here. Get the chat out of my way. One and a three for you is three bucks. No victory points. Oh, you know what it is? I'm seeing the rocket just peeking below. Oh, yeah, the blue one? Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, look at Brandon, Mr. Moneybags over there. The guy with almost 30 money. <laughs> Expensive of a colony ship can I buy now? Pretty expensive. Do I want to put yeah, a colony ship on seven ones. though? 
Oh, don't replace my seven. Could do that. Three, four. Or the seven I was just talking about replacing. One, two, three. Except now I'm over 30, so I don't have to replace the 7. I can replace. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to replace my 8. 8, 7 bucks though. But I never roll it. <laughs> so it's not really doing anything for me. Alright, goodbye, 8. Hello, 10 victory points. Five and I'm running a lot of fours. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to use my power here to bump the year 9 to an 11 and give myself a victory point. Bump nine to eleven and get Just a victory point. Yeah. Oh shit, that's not how it works. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I'm not smart. I get six money and an income. This this card here lets me move one or two spaces from the the sum. Yeah, I just didn't know where you're getting victory points from. I, I was looking at this card because I'm stupid. Your turn, Brandon. Okay, then I'll take three or three or six. <laughs> uh, I will take three and three, and I get two money out of that. Jay, it's your turn. Ooh, swap your 1 and 12 cards in the third row. How useless. I mean, a lot more 1s than 12s have been getting rolled. One and a three is one money for me. And we got eight in total. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna buy this crazy swapping one. Which one did you buy? The nine. Hmm. Probably never activate it. Wait, now my nine gets me victory points if someone else rolls it. Two, five, and seven. Damn chat somewhere. I'm good. You can go. The exact same as Jason. What a coffee cat. I know. That was a fun turn. Two four. Done. There's so many points just then. Holy crap. Fives, three for three points. One is two. Hmm. Plus two has rolled, been rolling a lot, and I get oh, two yeah, more victory that. points. Uh, I'm going to expand exact... I'm gonna buy this. It's been 21 exactly. Alright, I'm good. Brandon, your turn. Uh, right, Brandon, you only need like 25 points before Jason gets five more. Yeah, I know.
I'm done. The worst roll I could ever have. At least I'm better in my three spot. I'm gonna buy this three. My turn? Yep. Four, uh, old faithful. Four, five, four, nine. Nine gives me victory points now. Thank you. Only ten more. Uh, I'm good. Your turn, Brandon. Sorry. I missed you guys' turns there. Alright, so... If I roll a two or a five on my turn, Jason will win. I'll try my best not to roll either of those numbers. And now Please I'll roll, roll both. both of them. Okay, I'm done. Here we go. Two and five. One my night. twelve. Three victory points. And the thing next to it, which is eight money. Which is not enough to make a difference in anything. Uh, whatever. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting another turn. Wait, why did you roll again? Oh, I definitely did not mean to. Hey, I win. Do you? Oh, I see. Wait, flip them. That makes sense. How do you win? What do you mean? I got 40. Where's your points from? The twos. You rolled the twos. Oh. Have you been adding points for these every time you rolled them? No, I was just really looking forward to. <laughs> I had it. Two, three, three, or five. Uh, yeah, Actually, I... it gives me 31. I can, yeah, I can buy victory points now. No, you can't. Oh, you can buy, oh, I see. I thought you were going to buy the 31 cost one. I was like, I bought that. You can't buy that one, but it doesn't matter which one you buy. I still get a turn, though. Yep. <laughs> Make it count. What's the deciding factor? It's money, right? What deciding factor? For, for tie breaking? How'd you have so many points? Me? Yeah. I bought that. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I will check. Did you open? No, I'm waiting for Jason to determine how we tie break here if it gets to it.
between you and me. Yeah. Also, don't forget, you spent all your money. If two or more players are tied, you play one more full round. Uh... Wait, what? It says, after one full round, the player with the most money is the winner. Even if that player is not one of the original tied players. Hmm. While your resource track only goes to 40, there's no limit to the number of anything you can gain. Put well, a cube okay. on it and then go back. So Jason wins. Well, I still got a turn, motherfucker. Well, Jason just bought, what, seven, nine victory points? Yeah, so he's up to 47. So put yeah. a second, put this on the seven, wherever seven is. And where are you at? You can't afford anything more than that. Yeah. You can't even afford the, the cheapest colony base, and that wouldn't catch you up. You wouldn't even get to 40. Yeah, don't waste my time. Yeah, even if I bought the most expensive one, I couldn't catch him. Okay, whatever. Jason wins. <laughs> the table's yeah. just falling in a vacuum of space. 